Hi, welcome to another episode of Laundry Chit Chat. First of all, I would like to say welcome, welcome, welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for clicking that subscribe button right here. And if you haven't, it's right there. My name is Denise, but my closest, dearest friends and family call me Dee. I am a full-time, stay-at-home housewife, family caregiver to my mom, aka Queen G, who suffered a massive stroke, and I am sharing our journey here on YouTube, just of how when life gets hard and things change, and I want to give hope and share it in a positive way because life should be lovely no matter what happens. Hence, the channel's name, D Lovely Life. I live here in California in the San Francisco Bay Area and this is where it all happens. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> my channel is a variety and that's why I call my vlogs the variety because it's a variety channel. It's a variety that includes everything about my channel and that's either caregiving, cleaning, cooking, decluttering, organizing, cooking with Jay, a little bit of lifestyle, and of course my weekly vlogs. So I have a new video weekly. Laundry Chit Chat is basically me folding my laundry as I catch up with you. <laughs> I go over what I'm watching, what I'm doing, behind the scenes, what I'm planning, um, what's on my mind, or just a little way of just catching up with you behind the scenes as I do my laundry. <laughs> so as you saw, I'm doing my mom's laundry, Queen G, as you saw, we had wrapped up decluttering the minimalism game 2021 that was hosted by michelle at my everyday wife life oh my goodness that challenge i tell you was a beast but i'm so glad i did it and it was so cool to just talk with the fellow youtubers please go check them out the process and just cheering each other on i wish you guys could have seen the support of one another that was just shown it was so cool i love all of those ladies but i am not done by far <laughs> decluttering it was difficult because Michelle had reached out and kind of told me what her plan was for February of doing decluttering back in December so I kept thinking okay I want to get rid of that but I can't because in February I got a film decluttering so it was like one of those things you know and I had just a lot to get rid of but it was funny because with the whole number thing and that was a little bit more challenging as well but because that had just finished does not mean that I'm finished. So you will be seeing more decluttering in this year because I'm at that age, a big 5-0 right now, and all is on my brain is retirement. Downsizing, downsizing. As I really don't want to take all of this stuff that's in this 2,500 square foot home with us. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to leave the playlist down here or up here, the end card somewhere. If you need that decluttering motivation and inspiration, go check it out. So spring is almost here. Spring is almost here. So that means spring cleaning is in the air. <laughs> All I've been seeing on YouTube lately, spring clean and decorate with me, extreme spring clean, ultimate spring clean. <laughs> Personally, I don't know if I'm going to do like a total spring clean, although another YouTuber did contact me to invite me to do a spring cleaning series. I'm not sure if I'm going to have that time to do that, but I would like to do at least one good spring cleaning video for you guys. But as you guys know, I'm always trying to put in a little bit of cleaning, a little bit of decluttering, a little bit of cooking, meal planning. I try to do, I try to fit all of that for you. That's why I have new videos every week but talk about spring let's talk about something fun like gardening <laughs> man last year we went above and beyond in our garden and I'm still having tomatoes from last season's 
tomato plants. I have cherry tomatoes, Anaheim peppers. I try to share that with you guys in my vlogs as well. And my strawberries, my strawberries are starting to bloom. So it's so cool. I cannot wait for my blackberries. That means right now I have been trying to take some time to work outside, enjoy this beautiful weather that we're having in California right now. I'm trying to clean, I'm trying to de-weed and I'm trying to maintain what I have right now as far as like making sure that I fertilize them, that I feed them, but I'm also needing to replace some of my gardening tools. So I need more gloves and all that other good stuff. So I'm trying to get things for gardening. So if you like gardening, you can go check out my videos there. I plan to do more videos for gardening for the spring and the summer. I cannot wait. If you like to garden and you're starting your garden now, let me know in the comments down below what you guys are planning to grow. Last laundry chat, we're talking about plans, what I'm currently working on, projects around the house, and one was uh, living room furniture. Guess what? Jay and I agreed on a couch. We found one. It's out of stock. <laughs> Figures, right? Kind of like the same thing about the front door. Home Depot, love you, but just like, ugh. They cannot accommodate the width of our front door. And so I need to keep it for Queen G's wheelchair. That's why I need it so wide. I need it to be the same width. So therefore, I'm looking at like $6,000 that other people are giving me, and I did not want to go there. I still don't want to go there. <laughs> like $6,000 for a front door. That is insane. So I don't know. I'm still, I w I'm not going to worry about the front door until summertime. So I'm going to put that on the, the burner. Probably going to order our couch though. Going to order the couch and then a side chair and then just wait until I can get that whenever. I'm in no rush right now. I'm just happy I just found a couch. You know what I'm saying? Okay, on to what I'm watching and what I'm reading. I didn't have any time to <laughs> read anything, to be honest. I have uploaded a couple of books, though, on Audible, so I'll update you on the next Laundry Chit Chat. But what I have been watching... Have you watched Bridgerton? Right? It was good i oh my gosh i love bridgerton on netflix the series oh my goodness i was like so in awe of the dresses and just how everything looks so beautiful and it was just like who is the author of the gossip column <laughs> You know? Oh my gosh, I totally enjoyed it. I cannot wait for the next season to arrive. If you have not checked out Bridgerton, I totally would suggest that as a good, good chick flick, right? Okay, another Netflix must watch is Firefly Lane. <gasps> I really enjoyed that. I was totally binge watching all of those episodes um, just like a last couple of couple of weeks ago before the whole, whole decluttering project. Oh, it's really, really good. It's really, really good. They did a superb job of that. And especially going, they kept going back into time and then current, you know, all of that. I was surprised I kept up with that. <laughs> It's with you. But um, I totally enjoyed that. Totally good chick flicks. Go check it out if you haven't done so already. Now, I do have to find something to watch with the husband. So we both really enjoy watching 911. They have one from in LA that takes place, and they have a 911 with Rob Lowe in Texas. We love watching both of them. And hello, Rob Lowe. Does he ever age? And what kind of skincare does he use? Another show that Jay and I really been enjoying too is Queen Latifah's new TV series called The Equalizer. <gasps> that is really good. I'm really enjoying that one with him as well. And Queen Latifah, man, she ages well. You know what I mean? She still looks very beautiful. Holy moly. Okay, there's one that is my guilty pleasure watching. It's on Bravo. <laughs> I've, I know... I know I have told you guys this before, so and but there's a lot of new friends. So my guilty pleasure is Real Housewives of New Jersey. I know, <laughs> but 
I like Teresa's table flipping moments. <laughs> He just gets all the drama the drama oh my goodness i don't know what it is about that show but when it's on i'm like shh <laughs> or i'll go up i'll sneak upstairs and watch it in our bedroom uh it's just i don't know what it is i don't know what it is about that show but there's just something about it or it's like a no-brainer i don't have to think about anything it's like someone else's drama <laughs> you know what i mean but i so enjoy that show <clears throat> last thing is plans for this channel you guys thank you so much for clicking on to my channel i am now at 4,300 subscribers yay so excited so excited i'm not going to change anything within this channel i'm going to still continue with the same content thank you so much for giving me suggestions about what type of videos and content you'd like to see I have that in my community tab on this channel if you want to go take a peek at that. But there are a majority of you that who really enjoy the variety vlog. They also enjoy my meal planning. They want more cooking with Jay, which that is coming out. But I felt like since I have so many new of you friends on here now that I felt like I just really needed to reintroduce myself of what this whole channel stands for. You know, hope, positivity, a variety, a little bit of some inspiration out there who needs it as a caregiver because in my vlogs I like to show the caregiving side of that. And there are some of you who request my makeup routine and skincare routine. I'm like, really? <laughs> so Thank you. Um, wow, I'm like totally surprised, but yet I'm flattered. <laughs> so thank you. And since I am a Native American, if you do not know yet, I am Navajo. And there are those of you who requested to get to know a little bit more about our culture, our traditions, recipes, and so forth. So I hear you. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably try to incorporate all of that in my vlogs so i'm gonna get queen g maybe perhaps tell us a few of her growing up stories i think those are just fascinating to me and um i think it's time and so i'm gonna ask her and see how she feels about that to share that with you guys anywho I need to get back to finishing my laundry and then put back my caregiving hat and get lunch going and so forth. But I really want to just take the time and do a laundry chit chat with you guys. I hope you guys are remaining safe and healthy. And thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate every single one of you. I read all your comments and I try to respond to all of them back. So let me know in the comments down below what kind of gardening you're up to what kind of projects you got going and if you watched and enjoyed the series of the minimalism game please let me know in the comments down below so i kind of get a grasp of who watched and who really likes that and go check out the other youtubers the playlist i'm going to drop everything down below until then remember to take care of yourself I'll take care of myself and i will see you on the next one bye